Now we are going to do some graphs. We have the equation y is equal to 3 half x minus 1. And we are also given the x value, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. So what we can do is just plug in these numbers into the x values and then do the computations and we can get the point. When we have the x value and the y value, we will have the point. Then we can just plug in the point into the graph and then connect the dots. But if we have this calculator, actually it can help you to generate the table. Okay? But the first thing is we need to isolate y or f of x. Okay? So in this case it's already isolated for us. Um, so that's a good that, that's a good case. Anyways, turn it on and the best place to go is the mode because that's what the mode makes this calculator different than the others. Go to mode. I want to do a table, right? Because I'm having a table right here. I need a table. It says what's f of x is equal to? f of x is the y. Okay, f of x and the y are the same. So let me write that down first. f of x is equal to y. And the equation that we have is 3 half x. So enter the equations right here. Any fraction, 3, and then go down to the denominator up to 2. Press right, right? Make sure the cursor is on the side. And then I need to enter x. This is a multiplication sign. Okay, this is a multiplication sign. To get the alphabet x, the variable x, it's right here. That's above the parentheses. Right? So, to get that, notice that that's in red. So hit alpha, and then x. 3 half x, and then I need minus 1. Minus 1. Equal. And then it also asks you the g of x. G of x is just another function. Like if you have multiple functions, if you have 2 or 3. I think it does 2. It only does 2. So if you have like um, 2 functions, then you can enter um, another equation right here as well. But I don't have it, I just have this equation. So, you just, you just press equal to ignore that. Start. Um, that's what you want the x value to begin with. I need to begin with negative 2. So, negative 2. It was preset to be 1. But if you put negative 2, it can overwrite the 1. And, it's preset to be 5. But we can just stop at 4. So, enter 4. Step. That's the difference between each x value. 1 will work, but in this case, we have negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. Notice that every time it's go up by 2. Right? Go up by 2. So this right here is a step. So the step right here is the 2. Right? So hit equal, and then you can see I have the list of x values negative 2, 0, 2, and then you can go down to get 4. And then you have the y values, the f of x. Okay. So that's what we need. Let's see. When x is equal to negative 2, f of x is equal to negative 4. So I just need to write this down. I have negative 4. And then when x is equal to 0, f of x is equal to negative 1. When, f of, when x is equal to 2, f of x is equal to 2 as well. And go down. When x is equal to 4, f of x is equal to 5. Okay. Notice the 1, 2, 3, 4 on the, one, two, three, four on the side. This is just the first point, the second point, and so on. So don't worry about the 1, 2, 3, 4. Just look at the x and the f of x values. Okay? And then once we have the y value, and the, the rest is pretty straightforward. Point. Um, for the first point, I have negative 2, comma, negative 4. Second one, I have 0, comma, negative 1. S third one, 2, comma, 2. 4, comma, 5 for the last one. And I just need to graph it. So for the first point, I need to go to x value negative 2, y value negative 4. Second point, 0, negative 1. And then third point, 2, comma, 2. And then 4 comma 5. So I have a 4 and then I have the 5 right here. So as you can see that if we connect the points, we will get a line. Because exactly this is exactly an equation of a line. And that's it.
Okay. So this is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, right? So the number in front of the x is the uh, the slope, right? This is the slope, and this right here is the y-intercept. So as you can see, that this line cross with the y-axis at negative one. That's a y-intercept, and then the slope. So we have three, right? That means we go up three, one, two, three, and then go to the right two, two. That's how we get to the next point. One, two, three, and then we'll probably write this down. So go one, two, three. That's a three on the top, and then go to two, one, two. So it's up three, and then right two. So that's a slope. Slope is three half. Okay, but I just want to show you guys like what we can do with the table function on the calculator. That's the key. So if you go back, if you keep pressing on, then you will see the f of x because you are still in the table mode. But that's okay because for the next one, I still need to complete the following table, and then we have um, this equation. So f of x. Uh, I have one half, so I'll press the um, the fraction key right here, one over two, and then this cursor right now is on the denominator, so press right to make it on the side, right? I need to get the variable x, so press alpha and this key x to the second power, so square that. Minus I have the x right here, so alpha x minus equal and then he asks you for g of x that's in again if you have another equation to work with then you press that but since we don't just press equal to ignore that start in this case we want to start at negative one so just press negative one to overwrite what we had earlier equal and I want to end at three only step so in this case I want to just go from negative one to zero so that's plus 1, from 0 to 1, so you have to go up by 1, 1 to 2, which is go up by 1, 2 to 3, go up by 1. So um, each time I just want to go up by 1, that's a step, press 1, and then we get a, ta a table of values, a table of values. So in this case, when x is negative 1, we get f of x is equal to negative 2.5, so I'll write that down, negative 2.5. When x is 0, f of x is equal to negative 4. When x is equal to 1, we get negative 4.5. When x is equal to 2, we get negative 4. When x is 3, we get negative 2.5. Right, it shows you on um, the decimal right here on the table, but on the side it shows you fraction. Right, negative 5 half, or negative 9 over 2. Okay, so with this calculator, it can generate a table for you for, for any equations. And then to finish up the rest, now we have points, right? Look at the x value, which is negative 1, y value is negative 2.5, and so on. 0, negative 4, 1, negative 4.5, 2, negative 4, and 3, negative 2.5. And then to graph this, um, we can just plug in the points. And what, I'm, what I want to graph first is actually the vertex, the number, uh, the point that's in the middle. Okay, one comma negative four point five. Notice that this is actually the vertex. So I'll write this down. Okay. Again, I'm just showing you guys how to use the calculator. I'm not showing you guys how to do the math problems right here. But as you can see that. Even though this is not graphing calculator, but if it generates a table for you, then you can do the rest of the graph on your own, right? So it's still very good, especially for the price, for under $20. So anyways, um, vertex, I have 1, comma, negative 4.5. So that's negative 4. So negative 4.5 will be in the middle right here. And then, um, if you look for 0, x for you is 0, the y value is negative 4. 0, comma, negative 4 is right here. Notice that if you have x value is 2, 
the y value is also negative 4. And then if the x value is negative 1, we have negative 2.5. So negative 1 for x, go down to negative 2, and then halfway, you get negative 2.5. When x value is 3, go down negative 2, and then halfway, then that's negative um, 2.5. And this is uh, going to be a curve, like a U-shape, upside, um, open up. It's it's a parabola. parabola. Okay, and that's the vertex, and that's uh, the number that we have in the middle. And if you want to talk about some math, then when you are, whenever you are graphing uh, a quadratic equation like this, you must find the vertex first, and that's the number that you're going to put in the middle. But again, I just want to show you guys how cool this calculator is. It does a table for you. And let me know if you guys have any questions, just leave any comments on the on the on the YouTube ch channel or message me or something like that. Okay?